Okay, you ready? We're going to do our opening yep. and we'll go. on Peak Biolabs and the president of the Siam Hockey League. Welcome to Hockey Night in Thailand. <laughs> Thailand, and we're just joining the game just about a minute in. Sorry we missed the first goal on Novotel. Keith Mueller and Scott Murray has joined us from the first game, and hello, Scott. How are you? Good, good, Keith. Pleasure from to, pleasure to last be in the night. booth Get with you sleep. here. And what a start Novotel has gotten off to. One goal in the first minute of play already. They're really taking it to Hertz, and here's another breakaway for Novotel, but Mike Walker playing his first game of the year. That's the Mountie. He's a Mountie at the Canadian Embassy. Just got a shot on goal. Now Hertz is so moving back. I'm going to be learning a lot of these players. I'm going to share uh, okay. some of the uh, notes okay. with you. Okay. You probably know them better okay. than I do. But, right, uh, well. I'm going to listen to you. Look at that. We got a tie game. Hertz has come run by. Tied it up. The, the young Russian kid called off from Vladimir Vladivostok in the Siberian League. He just tied it up. Blast. He's a young Russian kid, about 19 years old, studying here. So he's uh, substituting for the second time this year. So we got a barn burner, making of a barn burner early here, as, as now Novotel breaks in again. 1-1 one, one the score with 14 yeah. minutes, 16 seconds. If Just you know, getting underway here for the Keith, second game. If you notice number 19 on defense there, that's... Kaylee Steinert. She's uh -huh. the only female playing in the league. Okay. Last year we had two. This year just one. And Callie, she used to play for, um, I think it was a university in New Brunswick in Canada. Okay. So she played uh, Division I women's hockey in Canada. I think it was Mount Allison. And uh, she's, she's pretty solid. She doesn't take any grief from anybody, and she's always able to hold her own. So Hertz breaks it out. There's the captain. That's uh, Jordan Jordan Ashton. Shot save. Who's the goaltender for uh, the Novotel? The goaltender for Novotel is uh, is Jason Kotzmeyer. Ironically, uh, he was um, the first long-term flying flung goalie. He basically taught himself how to play goal. Because back in the late 90s, when we were in the beginning of our fledging program here, uh, we didn't have a full-time goalie. So Jason... Who would uh, play so club hockey? He's in his hockey. late 20s now. No, he's in, yeah, he's, he's, he's in his early. He just turned 50, actually, about right. a week ago. I know. But he, uh, he was a graduate of Ohio State University. And uh, mom's, mom's tied, dad's American. And uh, he uh, just decided to teach himself to play goal one day. And for the next 15 years or so, he was our number one goalie on all our travel teams and all the all star teams we put together. Wow. So it's a pretty remarkable uh, feat. But he's been. Um, He's been busy the last five or six years, so we haven't seen Good that save. much of him. Now, who's this working out? What's that? Now, who's, who's worked that out? Who's this now? Right now, this is uh, Ith. He's, Ith. Uh, he's, 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 he's an up-and-comer on the Thai national team. He's Ith, not, like I-F? That's his nickname, I-T-H, yeah. Ith. Ith. And he actually has a cousin who's playing for Hertz, uh, Arnold, but he's not here tonight. So, I actually have two cousins playing in, in, in the league. Okay. Ith is quite young. He's just, uh, I think he's a freshman or university, freshman or sophomore at university. And he's a <coughs> substitute on the Thai national team. So, so he's, he's another on the one of the good side. young players that are making up the, the future of this league. 
But there they go again. There's Marcel Bowles. Yeah, they're Bowens. dominating. Shot to the near side. Hurt's going to try to break it back out. Broke it up by Novotel. Save out puck on the far side now. Who's that? Number 26. Number 26 is Darius Konopet. He's okay. a Ukrainian Canadian. Symbolizes work ethic. He'll just nobody will outwork that guy. Oh, and we have a penalty coming up. And yeah, it looks it looks it like, like the, the only call. woman the only woman in the league is drawn a tripping penalty. Yeah, Steinhardt is her name, right? Kylie, Ka Kaylee Steiner. Steiner. Okay. Eleven minutes to go here in the first period. We're just getting underway. Hertz and Novotel. This is the Siam Hockey League live from Bangkok, Thailand. If you're watching us, welcome. We're probably the only live hockey available right now worldwide. So welcome. Can I see the, the Hertz sheet? Okay. We're learning the we're all learning the players. You no, know, there's a lot there. of subs today because both uh, Hertz is missing three players for the Thai national team, and and uh, no, sorry, Hertz is missing five players, and Novotel is missing three. So we have a lot of substitutions in this game, and one of the substitutions for Hertz is number 28, Elias, and one of the substitutions for uh, Novotel is Adam. And they clear the zone and they break the penalty. Both these guys played for the top tier flying flying team in the Land of Smiles tournament last week. So well, they're the getting some league action here. He is right now, Elias with the puck. Really swift squater, really swift. Pass to the young Russian kid. Oh, to oh. Pelps, and they couldn't hold it in. So they have to come back and try to work that out again. One minute, 37 seconds, seconds left in the penalty. And the way the penalties work, it's a two minute, 30 running time penalty. The, uh, the time is all running time in the uh, Siam Hockey League, and a 2 minute 30 for penalties running time. Uh, that's how that basically works. 9 minutes 42 seconds left here in the first period. You can find us on Facebook, by the way, at uh, thailandtv.tv. You can watch us live. If you're not watching us live right now, you could have. But if you are, welcome. And we're all still learning our equipment, and uh, I'm still learning the players, so apologize to the players who are watching and the fans. It's going to take me a couple of days to get the, get that up to speed. Now, Hertz is on the power play now. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice save by Kotz. Got to watch number uh, 22 on defense for the yellow team, Hertz. Who's Roman that? Laren. He's a Russian guy. What's his R name? Roman Laren. He, used to play, he actually had a brief stint with the Israeli national team. And he also played for a junior all-star squad in, in Russia. And we have He's a whistle. We have a uh, tripping penalty. It's Jeremy, right? Jeremy Hutchins is our uh, referee. What's that? The referee. Jeremy, Jeremy Hutchins, yeah. He's, Jeremy he, Hutchins he doesn't take referee. any grief from anybody. He spent some time in the East Coast Hockey League, and that's got to be one of the toughest leagues right. to officiate in all of hockey. There's some real tough customers, serious fights, some serious shenanigans, and he has to separate all that. So this He's is got probably, a great temperament. He's play, he was in Hong Kong before he came here, but this is probably just uh, Christmas pudding pudding compared to what he was used to in the ECHL. Right. So he's very firm in his decision making, doesn't take any grief from anybody, and we're quite lucky. Just like we're quite lucky to have you, Keith. We're quite lucky to have Jeremy and, and yes, he does a great job. And hopefully, you'll get a time to interview him. Yeah. Get, find out why he's he's actually teaching English here, but uh -huh. why he's disposed to stay and, and and he's he's really committed to refereeing Thai hockey. He's done a great job. He's really helped sure have. bring the, uh, the, um, the the level of the Thai referees up. So the faceoff will be inside the hurt zone. Back out to the point. Worked in. Shot to the point. Save. And now Hurt's going to work it out of their zone. Who is that? That's Elias. That's the that's the really Swiss 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 uh, fleet Swift. Swedish Swiss, <laughs> fleet Swedish kid. He really can wheel this guy. He can really Ooh. wheel. And what's what's interesting is that uh, <coughs> when he was a kid, he played junior hockey with Ken Kin Kinborn, who's a star of the Thai national team. Okay. And they hadn't seen each other in years. T 
until Elias came here to study and they bumped into each other at the dressing room. So one of those small world stories. <coughs> Scotty a little tired from the uh, first game. How did the first game go? Well, it was good for us. I think Peak was a little disappointed. But yeah. Well, well, we had both substitute goalies, and their goalie hadn't played in 20 years. He used to be a junior B goalie in Canada, and he actually played in some Boston Bruin alumni games. Wow. So I think he did quite good, front. considering he hadn't played Shot. in 20 years. Save, that save. And here comes and, uh, working it, it was out. a 2-2, two, two, uh, three, three ties, sorry, going into third period. So it was close till we broke it open. But aware, seriously, needed a win. We hadn't had a win yet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a good game. Shot and a save. And he holds on. Now the goaltender again for Hertz is Lance Parker. That's their regular goalie. Lance, Lance Parker. Lance is, uh, he led Hertz to uh, championship two years ago. The, the team won only about three or four games all year. But because every team makes the playoffs, he went in a role in the playoffs and basically stopped everything. Mm -hmm. So the team with the worst record actually won the championship, and it was all because of Lance's heroics. So Lance has a tendency to kind of sometimes play somewhat, I hate to say it, but mediocre, and then come playoff games, he just stands on his head and plays like George Vesna. So he's, Novotel he, on the far side. He's an incredibly in acrobatic goalie when, he wants to, when, he, when, he, when he's on his game. Steinhardt in the near side. Keeps it in. Down in the corner. Oh. Back out. She couldn't hold it in. And uh, Brad Wilson, who is our announcer on the first game, did a great job. Is now on the ice as defense for Novotel, along with Steinhardt. Puck goes around the far side. Broke it up. In the near corner. And Hertz dumps it. We should have an icing. We do not. Oh, what a play. What a play. Oh, oh who was Mr. that? That was Roman Lairn. But he couldn't finish it off. What a move. And here comes Wilson again. Dumps it back to Steinhardt. She can't hold on to it. And they work it all the way out. Back into the Hertz zone. Parker. That's number four. Here goes Elias. Folden. The bitters. Here goes Elias again. Over to Roman. This is a deadly combination right now. Shot in front. Broke it up. Here he goes. There we go. There we go. There we go. Here they come. None. Cuts in. Oh, look out. Oh, great save. Mike Friesen. Freeze it on the near side. Oh, here we go. Cross. Cross ice. Back in the near corner. Hurts with it. Clears it out. Oh, here we go. Non we again. Non. Oh, 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 oh. Over. Great save. The save. And they hold on. Oh. Three minutes, 35 seconds left here in the first period. Keith, I'm hearing that the president of the SHL, John Shaknovsky, will join us in the broadcast booth at the okay. beginning of this. John, John. Will join us at the playoff in the in the booth at the beginning of well, the second period. Well, I'll let period. you two talk. I'll take it. Come on, John. He's <laughs> doing most of the play-by-play. -play. No, no, I'm gonna. I think. No, no, no. Come on in. Okay. Hello. We're joined he now by the president of the SHL, John Shagnoski, who has just played and unfortunately lost his first game of the season. But we won't go into that. We'll, we'll get John's insight into this game and and how the the, the TSHL is going this year. So, John, well, say hello to the really young, really audience. Thank you very much, Scott and, uh, and Keith. You guys have done a great job so far. We really appreciate the SHL. Couldn't be happier to have this broadcast. And uh, we really feel like we're moving to the big time here. Um, yeah, this is uh, exciting for us, our first night. I know you guys did a great job last night in Shinny and uh, your test run. And now we're here for the opening night. Rough, rough go of it for uh, for us last game. We were undefeated going into it, but uh, you know can't win them all. Scott, good game by your team, and it was fun. This is a great game. 
Puck. Oh, that's oh, there we go. There we go. Hurts takes the lead. Scored across behind the goalie. It was sitting on the doorstep and uh, tapped in by the Russian kid. Lass. 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 We called him up from Vladivostok. He, uh, he had game. a very, very good uh, blast. It was a good shot. Hurt, hurt, good hurt. young kid. Yeah. Uh, good young SHL kid. And. Uh, well, no, we are really happy. As for those of you who don't know the background, the SHL, this is our fourth season, and uh, we're getting stronger every year. I mean, the fact that we're on TV live just shows that every year we're improving the game, the on-ice product, and now the off-ice product for, for fans alike all over Thailand. Got a good fan base, and now we can get fans all around the world. Uh, we're very happy. We want to always thank our sponsors. Tonight's game, you got Novotel and Hertz, two really quality companies. Really happy they support ice hockey here in Thailand, uh, and and we really appreciate what they've done for us. Really, without them, this there is no SHL, so we appreciate that as well. This is a good game, two-one. Yeah. Novotel hurts. Second and third place teams in the league this season so far. Oh, minute left in the period now. Hurts going to try to get another goal here and build a two-goal advantage. Big shout out to Dom Dumay over there. One minute to go in the period now. Gonna s oh, here we go though. Possible it's going the other way. Oh, oh, Lance comes up solid with a big save. That is Lance Parker. All or nothing Lance for Lance Parker. Lance has known to do. But, uh, you know, once again, we really appreciate the sponsors. We appreciate Scotty. We appreciate everything Scotty Murray does for us here. And we are really happy. If you would have told me four seasons ago when this started I'd be sitting here in a broadcast booth <laughs> talk, talking all around the world I would have ha had your head examined but we're really really happy we're here this is great maybe maybe <laughs> five go, seconds to go maybe one last shot for Jordan Ashton no no icing okay. and that's the period all right Why don't you guys scoot in a little bit? okay that, that was good to get yourselves okay all right oh you're over here okay all right, we're on. Okay. So, Scott, I right. just okay. want to say you and I are feeling right now almost surreal <laughs> that we're talking on TV to yeah. the world. Uh, really, really okay. happy about that. Uh, okay. Oh, I want to fist pump oh. for that. We're All very right. friends and family back home. We're very proud of this on ice, off ice okay. product. Uh, this is really cool. So, once again, we're in the beginning stages of this SHL season. Uh, we got four games under our belts for aware and and uh, Peak Biolabs, and now this is the fourth game for Novotel and Hertz. And this is a good, hard-fought game. Two-to-one game, definitely the kind of game we thought we'd see between these two teams. Um, for those of you, I think you've been told probably throughout the broadcast, yeah. a lot of the Thai national team players that play in our league are in Sanya, China now, playing in the, the Olympic qualifying uh, Olympic qualifying tournament. They had a rough loss today against Taiwan, 5-3. to three. Really had a battle hard for any of the Thai national players watching now. Great game today, boys. Good luck the rest of the week. We miss you. Get you back on the SHL soon, but hopefully you can uh, pull off a couple victories. Yeah, it was good. You did a, You watched that whole game, right, John? I watched the whole game today, yeah. It was a, pretty, it was a hard fought game. They, uh, it was 3-3 three, three in the third, and they got a, a, a couple of tough late goals against to lose the game 5-3, but the team played well. They got two more games to go in this tournament against Hong Kong and uh, and Kuwait, and hopefully they will get a couple of victories. And John, how how weird is it that your favorite team, the Washington Capitals, were the first team to draft a kid born in Thailand? Isn't that a bit? And they also have a guy playing for the Caps right now, whose mum is Thai. Yep. Jonas Singh. Oh, there's a goal. Bill Bresden, oh, off the pass go. from Adam on the outside. Beautiful goal there. Good tic-tac-toe pass play. Nice young Swedish boy, Adam. Nice nice pass. And Bill, as he's known to do, finishes. Yeah, uh, yeah well, it's really happy about hearing about a Thai player, Jonas Siegenthaler, half Swiss, half Thai. And, and they drafted uh, Kanok Liepert, the yeah. great player, playing junior hockey up in Canada. Really unbelievable. That just shows you how hockey has grown here in Thailand. You know, we know we have our Thai players, Hideki, Nagayama and Masato and Ken Kinborn and all those guys but to see these guys play in the NHL and junior hockey is just great it's so good for us so good for Thai hockey so good for the future of hockey really in all of Southeast Asia 
And John, tell us, you were just the captain of the Flying Falangs in this recent Land of Smiles tournament here. And you had both Adam playing for Novotel tonight and Elias playing for Hertz on that team. And going into the tournament, I think all eyes were on Elias because he's so quick and so fast. And of course you were impressed by him, but you were also very, very impressed with the play of Adam, were you not? Really, both those boys that come out to our shinny and, and their students here in Bangkok, and we, and we saw them play. And at shinny, Elias was one of those shinny gods who got the puck and went coast to coast. And Adam was just kind of a stay at home. And you saw him, but you didn't notice his superstar status. And then in tournament hockey, he lit it up. He had a couple of goals. He was by far the most solid defenseman on the Flying Farong team here last week in the tournament. Really impressive, uh, fun to watch, good kid, both kids, great kids. Yeah, I mean, you, you didn't win many games, but it was really exciting to watch your team. You were in every contest. It looked like the guys were having fun, and it was a very competitive squad. It were was. you happy with it o overall? Absolutely. It was. A, I said after our second game we lost, we felt bad about that, I said it was, it was pretty sad because we had a fun team. And it was right. a bunch of good guys who liked playing together. So I think we deserved more uh, as far as results. But it was fun. And the best part about hockey in Thailand is a few days later you have an SHL game. And then come April we have the, the City of Angels tournament. So hockey in Thailand never stops. And that's what's fun about playing hockey and living here in Bangkok. And you have four championships chips in a row is that is that right in the city the old, of angels yeah city of angels so this is are the big number five it's going to be going for the five peats we've got okay. four in a row it's uh, we're pretty excited uh we've already started our our training and our our discussions for the team and believe it or not there's kind of a wait list for guys that want to play on that squad so we are we're ready to rumble it's not till april may but we're already thinking about our five peat and are you already is patrick lundback oh, your, what a save your star defenseman lands. confirmed to come back patrick lundback who who unfortunately had to go back to sweden um, has said he'll make for sure one trip back to Bangkok every year, and it is to come to City of Angels. His wife called me, and she promised as well. Okay. So switching to the SHL this year, which new players have really caught your eye? Who, who, who's really stood out for you? I know it's early in the league, but who have you really been impressed with? I think I'm going to give you a group of players, the young ties, the young ties that have come in this league when we first started the SHL, as you know, we had yes. mostly expats and a handful of ties. We have got a real good selection of ties, a large number of Thai national team players that are just solid as they climb. So I, I, I really, I'm not, I'm not going to pick one kid yet just because the season just started, but every game the Thai players uh, have just shown every game why they are uh, really come a long way in the last 10 years, five years, Thai hockey's here, and, and, and for us, we're very proud because when I first got here about 10 years ago, it was it was divided. You had the Thais playing, and you had the, the Farongs playing, and now we're mixed. Now Thais playing the SHL, and the Farongs playing the Bangkok Hockey League, and that's, that's fun for us, and we're proud of that. I think you're very proud of that as well. Goal! Shot from the point from Kaylee. Wow. So Ka Novotel takes the lead. Is that Callie? Callie, Callie, Callie got the goal from the point. Shot from the point. Callie, so she's got a you. penalty and a goal. Maybe she'll get a Gordy Howe hat trick. for the Gordy Howe hat trick. Someone should tell her that. She needs to get a fight. What? The funny thing about the, Cal. The viewers know occasionally what's going on in the game. They appreciate <laughs> Sorry. that. The funny thing, <laughs> funny thing about Callie is that she's so, uh, she's so quiet. Carly, who was, play, was so dynamic and, and, and a bit outspoken, and Callie. She just you don't know she's there she just gets the job done very quietly and very solidly but she's uh, uh she's making her presence known today another got a goal, shot, another shot by her oh just another shot right there so yeah uh he's right we gotta keep our eyes in the game but do you think that young thai players are are, are playing more more taking the league more seriously Hold now on, we got three on one attendance? we got three on one freezing Oh, oh now that was did nice. Did the head fake. Looked over right to the other side. Reason. Looked over Obtained to the other side. Obtained an off-season deal with the Dubai Mighty Camels. Whoa. Well, faked, faked a pass and put it right through the legs of Lance Parker. For you kids back home watching, your head your head fakes yeah. where you look can fake the that goalie out. Sweet. Lance, Lance Four, saw that. 4-2 for Novotel. And they're arguably missing their best player, their goalie, Leo who actually makes his living as a goalie coach here in Thailand. 
That was a great goal by Lan by uh, against Lance. He made Lance look one way and move one way, and a great play by Mike Friesen. Mike yeah. was on my tournament team last week. Had a good tournament. You got a bunch of guys. Alex Phelps was yep. your assistant captain. You got a bunch of your guys in this in this game. We got about ten minutes to go in the second period. Four two no four two Novotel. Uh, shots are twenty for Novotel, thirteen for Hertz. Pretty even game though. I wouldn't say it's a seven shot difference game. Pretty even game. Yeah. yeah. A lot of shots. A lot of shots tonight in both games. Now, Marcel Bowens is a veteran of your uh, City of Angels team, isn't he? Or has been? He ha he is. He is. He's on the team every year. He missed last year. He did a little stint in Taiwan. Couldn't make okay. it last year, but he's been there four, three of the four years. Okay, well, there's Elias behind the net again. He's always dangerous with that puck. You never know what he's going to do. Oh, that's offside. Oh, they got it. Here we go. There's Adam now. Uh, oh, great move. oh, look at that. Oh, oh, nice. oh. What happened? What do we got? We got a penalty. It might have, it might have a... Uh, a uh, hook, a hold. I got a hold. Adam made the cut to the middle, and someone held him, and that's he drew the penalty. So not nine minutes to go. We got a penalty. Really good way to Gosh, draw a penalty well. by Adam. Really good way to draw a penalty by Adam. Made a move Threw to the middle. Ralph? I think, yeah, Ralph Dittmer got the penalty. Held Adam when he cut to the middle, and uh, we were just talking about Ralph. Adam. And yeah, well, Ralph, Ralph isn't too happy, but he's a German tank. He doesn't. He goes goes down fighting all the time. So that is uh, not Ralph's first trip to the penalty box. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not. He, he's got a. He's got some. Brow, he's got a frequent flyer card. Ralph West over there. He's, he's got a frequent down. flyer card for the uh, yeah, penalty yeah. box. But I gotta think. Oh, what was that? That was a little bit of rough stuff in front of the net there by uh, If. Not sure how he got away with that. But um, got to thank Ralph for bringing in the Hertz sponsorship too. He said played a big role in uh, helping us get corporate sponsorship over the years. <clears throat> Once again, live from Bangkok, Thailand, SHL hockey. Reset for you here. Eight ten to go in the second period. Four two Novotel. Hertz is now down a man. Faceoff will be center ice due to a mistaken call by the referee. He was. Uh, ill-advised call. They call them icing when they're down a man. So uh, it's a mistake by the referees. They do ice. They face off at center ice. Now, uh, well, number 11. Number 11 for Hertz right. is Jordan Ashton. He's their captain. This is their first, his first year as the captain. How do you think he's doing so far, John? He's doing great. He's doing really well. The important part about captains in our league is communication. And he is communicating well with the league management and the other captains. Really doing a great job. He was on your team last year, wasn't he? He uh, was. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was. A good leader, a good player. Does earn the, to, he earned the captaincy. He seems to enjoy it. Oh, oh again. Power. Wow. They need to be sneaking him past Lance from the left point over there. This is Ith coming up with a big game today. He's throwing his body around. He's been in the right place, right time. Some, uh, some good plays by Ith. Ith uh, won our Johnny Aduya uh, scholarship, didn't he, previously? Um, I don't he, remember if he's the one who won it. I think he won, not this year. Th this year was Major, but I think, major. I, think he, I think Ith won it last year. He's a good young Taiko. He's a kid you've seen go from being kind of a kid out at Shinny, yeah. not too good, to improvement, improvement, improvement. He'll be a Thai national team player soon enough. So we got a 5-2 score now. Here goes Friesen again. Nice move. Nice move. Okay, that was wide. Not a great finish that time. A little over six minutes to go in the second period. Friesen again. Friesen. Oh. Here we go. There lies. Look at the move. Oh. Uh, Brad Wilson. Getting, nice play, Brad. Not getting, not getting past Brad that easily. What do you think about Brad's mustache? Well, Brad will tell you he's from November, but Brad's had that mustache way before November started, yeah. so we're going to call that a, a, a different kind of mustache. There are certain kind of TV people watch that's uh, after hours, and he looks like one of those guys. Yeah, that's awesome. true. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's 1980, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Novotel has got to, uh, they're going to keep the lead here. Five and a half to go. Hurts better get a goal here. This game might get out of hand. Yeah, they really do. It's really amazing the mix of nationalities we have on the ice. Just now, we've got Americans, Canadians, Russians, Swedes, Germans, Thais, Finns. I mean, really, it's, it's a and mix. Lance. It's, it's, I'm and it's uh, it's a real, real, real mix. Hopefully, everyone back home and is enjoying the in game. In the earlier here. game, we had a Slovakian goalie, uh, and uh, trying to think. So, uh, and we have one Taiwanese goalie who's not playing today. So, we really do have a mix of nationalities in this league. It is like Bangkok. It's an international city, and we got an international league, which is great for us. A little rough stuff in the corner. Brad, yeah, as we'll usual, in the center of it all. Puck in the corner here. Brad playing solid defense. Jaron keeps it in. Oh. And Bill gets it out of the zone. Oh. Missed pass back to Roman. Good forecheck by Marcel. Jaron looking for the oh, long pass. Oh, look at Got that it. pass. That's major. Oh, oh, that was pretty. Great, now, major, lead, now. great lead pass by Jaron. He saw it. He saw Major make the run and make, make, make the break, and he made a beautiful pass down the center of the ice, and Major finished strong. And Major is the recipient of the Johnny Aduya Scholarship this year. That's correct. Great kid, great kid. And Jaron, great story there. Had some serious knee problems, worked his rehab, and is now back playing. Very, very solid player. That was a great goal. Great goal. Great to see Hertz back in the game. Yeah, that's a good goal. Good late goal. Three and a half to go in the second period. 5-3, Novotel. They really Shots needed that. Shot really to 22-14, to, to 14, Novotel. We want to give a big shout-out to peak goaltender Gabor Toth, who's watching at home today. And we want to hope a speedy recovery to Gabor, who was hurt playing hockey about two weeks ago and was un missed his first game tonight but hopefully he'll be back in time for next Thursday night's match so if, if hello we know, I hope you're getting better soon we know Gabor well he's dying to get back on the ice get some rehab and get back on the ice as soon as possible there goes Friesen down the side again has a minute oh, that's oh a Roman and uh, oh, a little rough stuff oh there, there we go None of, neither of those boys are going to back down that's some good old Canada Russian hockey there Mike going in, he's not going to take in any rough stuff, and the Gabor's and uh, Roman's not going to back down. Uh, two good hockey players there. So, Even though so it's a non-contact league, uh, sorry, uh, you know tempers every once in a while. I was going to say, Scott. Happens. I was going to say, Scott. We everyone asked me, what, is SHL full contact? The answer is no. But for those of you watching now, that is a non-contact league. It was a check. They called a penalty, and. Uh, Roman making a little comment here. Oh, okay. I didn't like that. Oh. I'm not sure what the call was there. Roman leaving the ice. So I'm not sure if they call a misconduct as well. Stand by. We'll see what the referee has to say. Just teaching you announcer 101. Keep your hand there. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, Roman, Roman gave a little hand signal there we that saw. wasn't very good. I think he's been Now gone. he's going we'll back over the penalty box. Maybe he got another stick. He went to his own bench for a reason, but he's going back. Got the no, that's Flash. I think he's. Is, is that? That's Flash. I think that's the kid. That's Flash. That's, that's what they call. Let's see. Let's, listen, they, let's I, listen for the call. I think they've given Roman. Let's listen for the call from a Dom. If Dom makes the call. What's three? Okay. All right. Well, I'll, we'll, we'll find out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get, get confirmation the answer here for in a second. between the emission. Two minutes left in the second period. We'll find out what went on there for the start of the third. All right, puck here in the corner. All right, so we're going to get the answer here. I'm getting from the box up there. Oh, so the answer we just heard right now is that uh, Rome, that was Roman's third penalty this game. So SHL rules, if you get three penalties in a game, you're out of the game. You okay. cannot finish the game. It's not an extra penalty, but you can't finish. That was Roman's third penalty, and he's out of the game. Great save by Lance. The puck goes to Marcel in front. 
But uh, I will say that might be a first for us. 115 to go. That could be a first for us, Scott. We should check the uh, sports book. Have we ever had a kid or any player get uh, three penalties before the end of the second period? No, to, that, this to, could be a new that could be a first record. For us. The thing is, I didn't even notice them in the box. Did you? Those penalties just snuck up out of nowhere. I guess we were, uh, attention was elsewhere. I remember Kelly getting a penalty, but I don't remember Roman going in three times. We got one minute to go in the period. 5-3, Novotel. Let's see if Hertz can kill the rest of this penalty. There will be some carryover time into the third period. About 20 seconds of carryover time if they can kill it. I think Novotel is just seems to be just happy with getting out of this period up 5-3 as they're not getting anything set up right now. It's like Kaylee going back for the puck behind her own net. She's got about 20 seconds to go. Let's see if they can do one more rush. Here they go. They're bringing it across the blue line. Shot on Lance, and the puck. Oh! 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 The puck was on the goal line. Man, the Lance the has horseshoes there. Seven seconds to Six go. Six seconds. He's got Nan's got to get this off. Oh! oh good defense by Kelly. Nan's another yeah. guy who was on the bubble for the Thai national team. He's got some real speed. All right, real so speed. we are at the... Okay. We're at the uh, end of... All right, so we're at the end of the second period. It's 5-3 Novotel. Shots are 25-14, also in favor of Novotel. Uh, third period will begin with 25 seconds, 24 seconds to go in the penalty. Uh, that was a good, fun period. Uh, we had the last play there. The puck went through Lance's legs, a little five-hole, but it just hit the post and sat there on the goal line. And good defense by Hertz. They got the puck off the goal line and then came down for their own rush and almost uh, put the puck in the net. Yeah. Oh, great job, great job, great job, job Karen, man. Man. Oh. Super job, super job, super man. You are earning every penny we're giving you. <laughs> every penny we're giving you. Little from England just for the game. That's right. So get to know him over this over this season there, fans back at home. So, we so what do you... What, Good, perfect. We'll talk. So what, what do you think, John, considering the amount of people that we're missing? I mean, I think that the quality of the play has been... Much better than we, we thought it would. I mean, oh. we're missing we're missing close to twenty guys. We were we were worried when we heard this uh, Olympic qualifying week was coming up. A lot of times in uh, world football, world soccer, they take yeah. these weeks off and they have these kind of breaks. And we thought about doing that and decided let's not do it. We we have a big holiday coming up over Christmas holiday, so we wanted to keep this these games alive and one hundred percent right. The, it's a testament to you, Scott, that we have such a very, very good substitute base and we were able to get enough subs and quality subs to have really two quality hockey games. Okay, well, out of it, the box, penalty's over, so we're all even with 16.30 to go. Sorry, Well, Scott, and I think, no, like you and Christian have both said, and it's a big shout-out to Christian Olofsson, our secretary, who does so much work behind the scenes and doesn't get the, the recognition that he deserves, but both of you have said that uh, this gives a chance for guys that weren't drafted to play in the SHL and get a taste of what it's like and for the captains to, to, to assess their play and, and see if they can call on them in the future as subs. So it's a yeah. chance for guys to really prove their stuff or show their stuff. No, that's 100% right. And that's when we began the league, as you know, a few years ago, four years ago. We knew we were not going to be able to draft every player. Going from the old Thai World Hockey League to this SHL, we knew one of the things we wanted to do was have a competitive league. And that meant maybe not drafting every player, but being able to have this really solid sub base uh, has helped us and helped these players to get more ice time. So we're on the fourth week. We've had two oh. really solid sub weeks. No, it's pretty it's good. true. I mean, it, and I think... <laughs> In these two sub weeks, we've probably called on more subs than we will in a, a couple of months. Absolutely. So it's been uh, it's been good. All right, 15 and a half to go. Back to hockey action here for a minute. Really solid game. Really even teams here. Brad going back for the puck. Brad Wilson, one of the solid American hockey players in this league. Yeah, he got a lot of uh, Americans in there. Really kicking icing. the ass out of our Canadian boys. Icing, uh, icing. On Novotel, which means that uh, they cannot change, cannot yeah. change lines on an icing. Uh, same, we've SHLs adopted a few world uh, international and NHL rules. One of those, we do not allow changing on an icing. So we have a couple of tired Novotel guys here. Hopefully, Hertz can take advantage of that for them to get this game a little even. That's their hope. John, I think what's interesting about the subs is whenever I call somebody, 
they're all eager to play. The only reason that somebody wouldn't play is that they've got a previous commitment, but nobody ever says, nah, I don't want it. Everybody, and I mean everybody, wants to play, which I think says a lot for the league. I think you're right, and that's, that makes us feel good. It makes us feel you know, all warm inside that the SHL is, uh, has become the success it's been so far. Yeah. It's good to see you. Know, I think it'll continue to grow. And just a big thanks again to Keith for making this happen because he's gone to a lot of work to make this happen and, and to do it so quickly and to invest in this technology. And it's just uh, it's great, great to see him do this and great to be part of it because he brings so much experience. I mean, he's worked on the Seoul Olympics among many of the projects he's done. So it's just great to be involved with Keith Mueller here doing I, this I, work. I want, a, I want a second, third, and fourth that comment. I mean, this is, as you said when I sat down, this is beyond our wildest imagination that we'd be able 40 years into this league beyond covering this live on, on TV and, and, and such a really good up-and-coming network that oh. is Thai, the Thai TV network, which is, uh, if you haven't seen it, TV.tv. If, if you're only turning in for the, tuning in for this game, there's a lot more content, a lot of great content. They're going to get more and more as the year, the year goes on, so tune into that and I'm selfish as an SHL president where that means you'll tune in and watch more of our hockey. This is the first night, so we're going to get things more solidified. We're going to get everything, you know, get our ducks in a row and get more and more games and hopefully we get more and more fans to watch. Oh, there we go. So We had we had Gabor complaining about our camera angles on the first game. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Gabor. Gabor, Gabor. Gabor yeah, yeah, you yeah. Better, have, you Gab better have ice Gabor on your elbow, is correcting Gabor. us. Vlas is not from Vladivostok, but he's telling us where he's from. And Gabor, you put the, better have ice on your elbow. Gabor is, whatever is, you is, ta uh, Gabor is uh, checking everything we say or do. Elias with the puck. There's about 12 and a half minutes left to go in the game here. Hertz has made it close, but they really need a goal here. To There's Major again. He's been a force tonight. Oh! So this is Jason Kotzmeyer's second start of the year. He played for, for uh, peak early in the year. Okay. And it's under Kotz. He hasn't moved, made the save. Kotzmeyer, for those of you who haven't been following Thai hockey for years, the grandfather of goaltenders here yes, at the, uh, that's right. in Thailand. Been playing hockey goalie here in Thailand. Played for the Thai national team a number of years ago. Veteran player. Still has uh, still has it. Still has the ability to play. And, and we appreciate his, his coming out and subbing for us when he has the opportunity and the time. Remember, uh, he's a great one for making new goalie masks. And he made one that honored the, the late king of Thailand, Rama 9, and it was a pretty spectacular uh, mask, and it was kind of nice of Kotz to make a goal mask in honor of the King of Thailand. 11 minutes to go, 11.15 to go in the third period, still 5-3, Novotel. Hertz has got to start pressing a little bit here as the game goes on to get that, that get, get within one. Novotel's playing a pretty solid defensive game. They're not letting Hertz get too much time or space. Pretty solid third period being played so far by, by Nova Temple. Lots of time left. Alex Phelps over to Jaron. Nice lead pass. Hit behind the net. Kelly's going to pick it up and get out of the zone. Here's it again. again. Good shot on net. Oh, yeah. Nice try. It's got a good hard shot on got it. Side. I think he yes, picks it up from it. the superstar Yin. He watches him in practice, national team practice. Got that good wrist shot. Oh. Bill, smart play. One of the smart hockey players in the league. Good pass back to it. Back up Bill to Bill. Bill Bredesen, nice tap passes. Marcel with a shot. Lance Parker, another save. We're down to about 10 minutes. 10 minutes to go in the game. You know, non racing for the puck. An icing. Brad races the puck. Wins the chase for the icing, and Hertz will not be able to change due to the icing call. Big Mike Friesen's line taking the ice. Oh. 
Hertz tried to do a change there, but our good referees saw that and uh, stopped that change from happening. We've really got a mix of players. We've got some guys that have never played out of Thailand, and we've got some guys who've played all over the world. So it's really interesting to see them gel and form some teams. And that's really credit to the four captains that we've got. Brad Wilson and Jordan Ashton in the game's teams tonight, and Harrison Ostamel and Justin Sendini in the, in the game earlier today. Now we've been blessed with some really, really good captains and some solid players to lead this league for with us. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, 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 oh. Nice recovery there by Vlas. Elias showing his speed. Eight minutes, 8.45 to go in the game. Still 5-3 to Novotel. You really are waiting for Elias to make some yeah. kind of run. It's he just always looked like he's about to kick it into another gear. You know, that's the thing. He's just gliding out there and just... You're expecting him to kind of just pounce like a cheetah. Another icing right now. This is the kind of game Novotel is not going to mind getting into, though. Yeah. The clock's yeah. running. Icing's back and forth. Pretty good. You strike me as a good time management team. Okay. Gabor, we got your notes. We say that we're all missing you. We hope you're at home enjoying some of Chantana's fantastic goulash. And uh, just highly to Patrick and Alex and your dog, and I hope everything's okay. We'll see you soon. Freezing again, a nice move. Oh, didn't get all the wood in that shot. Mike Freeze is playing pretty well tonight. He's been, a, I think, the he's a solid player. Nice deep to the middle. Just a solid player. Look at that. He, he's not spectacular. He's just so steady. He wins those draws. He's good defensively. Good there goes with the Elias. Puck. There There's Elias. Elias. He just with Jordan. Look, what's Jordan going to do? Oh, 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 oh almost. Similar, Eli Elias similar, just makes it look effortless. Similar to Yin, I think it is just always in the right place at the right time as well. Oh, that wasn't it, sorry. Yes. Nice move to the middle. Lance coming out, making a good save. Oh, there's Adam. Look at Adam hustling. Great play in the corner by Adam. Oh, good nice pass. pass. Oh, good work by Adam. I've been impressed with this young Russian kid today, subbing for Hertz. I mean, he looked a bit nervous the first game he played, but he's been solid tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. I think it's uh, also a testament to our league that... Um, that some kids get nervous coming to play yeah, in their yeah, first yeah, game. Yeah, it's a yeah, good thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. it's a good thing for you to get I, nervous when you get the call up. I think having the Russian vet may have uh, settled him down a bit too for a while early. I think so too. 6.30 to, to go, still 5-3. Like I said, I think Novotel, this is the kind of game Novotel is not mind getting into. This mm. kind of back and forth, really a sloppy uh, third period as far as not much pressure in either zone. Other shots, not, they're not getting many rebounds. Hertz is, uh, Novotel's got four players down low. Jaren with the puck at the point. He's going to just fire it on net. Never a bad play, and Marcel gets it out of the zone. Once again, just chipping it out of the zone. That's the play here. Nothing fancy with five minutes, six minutes to go. Nothing fancy. Just get the puck out of the zone. Puck in the corner. A little bit of physical play down there in the corner in our no check league. Oh, they kept it in. Oh, they nice kept play. it in. Good There's Non. In. Come on, Non. Oh. Non, a good play. Another save by Kotz. Kotz. Hurts trying to bring it, it closer. Points Non's played a good game. Gave me a lot of hustle tonight. A lot of speed work. Ralph. Ralph shot from the, the Panzer points. tank. Alex Feltz pinching. Like I said, five minutes to go. These D guys got to start pinching. And there it is. Trying to chip it out of the zone. That time it didn't get out of the zone. Marcel with the block. Novotel can't get it out. They're kind of pinned down right now. Alex Feltz kept it in and kept it in again. Oh, oh that, that was... Uh, I don't, Darius had a gift there. And that might be a oh, they're going to get him there. Uh, be fair to Darius. That was an accidental trip. 
He knows he got it, but he didn't mean it. That's unfortunate. You know, Hertz had that puck in the zone yeah. for a very, oh. almost a minute and a half, two minutes of time there. They kept it in, had their chances. Here we go. So here we are. We got about four and a half minutes to go. Uh, Hertz yeah. really uh, had the puck. Had the okay. puck pinned down in the zone for a while. That I think that might have been their chance, Scott. They had, uh, uh, yeah, now with the penalty, with one. two and a half That's to go with the penalty. We, they're going to really have to pull something to the hat here. Uphill battle now for uh, uphill battle now for Hurts to get a goal. They may have he, to, you know, not pull their goalie. They may have to push up a little bit and, and, and not kill the penalty, but play a little more offense. You know, I forgot to mention that Mike Wilson was a last-minute scratch for Hurts. And that's got to hurt. I mean, you played on a line with him and Mike White. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Elias short-handed. Oh, oh great. nice Brad play Wilson. by Brad Wilson on that. As I said, Hurts has to push here, and they almost got one. They almost got a shorty there. But yeah, losing your number, the number one draft pick in the SHL, Mike Wilson, last minute. That's a tough loss before the game started. Yeah, he's a new father, and we knew that in this time period, things may, at, at times, he may have to leave... Uh, last minute but uh it's tough because he just had a spectacular tournament playing on a line with you and michael white i think that was one of the best flying flying lines i've seen in years Thank and when he that. when mike gets his mind mind up he's there's no stopping him yeah we had we had fun we, we haven't played together as a line that we clicked pretty well so that was a good great really line very like exciting this. to watch here All comes right. freeson he's gonna own One. this puck right now just to own in that puck. to go in the game. One thirty to go in the penalty. Oh, uh, Lance, Lance stops it. Friesen's got it again. He's just dragging that puck. He's just dragging that puck. Gotta like this guy. He's so even keeled. So even keeled. Just Jason kind of missed on the doorstep. Jason Bitter has just kind of like Steve Eiserman. No, doesn't get flustered. Just carries the puck. Walks, walks around. Maintains his composure. Two forty-five to go. A minute to go. Here in the we penalty. go again. Oh, now well, can they steal. make it close? Can they make it close? Oh, oh, too many passes, but it looked good. I don't believe it. Tic-tac-toe all around the net, and they couldn't put it in. Yes, too many passes. No, looked but good, but you got to finish, boys. You got to finish. But then Vlas had an open net. Yeah, and, and he just, he, to stick his glove out there yeah. and made that save. 2.15 to go. 30 seconds Kinda to go on the Kind of deked themselves out there, but good work by Kotze. Hurts has got to finish killing this. And they've done a Here comes job Phelps. So he got to put one on net at Phelps. Got to like Alex. Spent a couple years in America and has come back here now and has played a big role in this team. Bill Breslin keeping the puck on, on sides. 150 to go. 10 seconds to go on the power play here. Oh, Lance makes up another nice save. Okay, they've got a minute 40 to go. Penalty's over. Hurts has got to do something. Got to do something here. There's Vlas. Oh, Who's that changing. to, Vlas? Come on now. Change. Hertz was changing. I think Vlas didn't notice they were changing on the fly there. And Mike Walker. Over to Ith. There's Ith. There's Adam. Lance is kind of out of the net there. I think he's looking to go uh, to leave the ice to pull the goalie there. But he had to get back in quickly. As the puck came down to the uh, Hertz end. Nice oh. save by Lance there. Oh, Lance has made some great saves in the last half of this game. Try to keep in there. One but his game just hasn't game. been able to. There goes Lance. There major. Goes now Lance. Major does have. Oh, what? Not there. Okay, so they pulled their goalie. Pulled their goalie. They six oh, skaters. Oh, wow. They're going for it. Hertz has got six skaters. Oh, I don't know. This is going to be a tough one. Oh, look at that work by Adam. Look at that. Oh, he's being too nice. He could have could have fired it in there. We got 35 seconds to go. Hertz has got to do something here. No goalie. They got to do a lot of something. They got to do a lot of something. Oh, Elias. There's Elias. Got to score quick here. Oh, oh, he hit the post. Hit the post. Elias, unselfish play. A lot. Oh, wow. We got 16 seconds 16 to go seconds in the here. game. I don't know. I mean, it's been done before, but it's tough. So it's, it's tough. Always, always good to see the goalie pulled, and they got six skaters in the ice. Give them the credit goals. for not giving up, for going right down to the wire. Give them credit. Give them credit. Great game from both squads. Missing a lot of regular players. They both sucked it up, made it into a game. 33 to 21 shots on net in Novotel's favor, but 
I don't know if the shots tell the story. It's been a pretty evenly played game. All right, here we go. 16 seconds. We'll reset here. Big face-off win. Elias takes it in the zone. Oh, oh, Darius oh! Darius has a shot. Ten seconds. We're at nine. Seven, six, five seconds to go in the game. It's out of the zone. Oh, all the way down. It might go in the net. And that's oh, it. I, I would have gone in. Nice comeback by uh, Hertz, but not enough. But good game for both teams. Good games. Okay. Well, that's it that's for it. the first night of SHL. I am very happy. Thank you guys for inviting me to come sit with you for tonight. Hopefully I'll be in the in the booth again uh, yeah, guys did a great job. at yeah. some point. Uh, once again, a great shout-out to Keith, um, our cameraman over there, an amazing wow. job by the cameraman, Rob. Thank you very much. Uh, first night of SHL Hockey. We hope the, the fans, however many of you are watching, we hope you enjoyed it. Send us a message if you can. Uh, let us know what we, what we did wrong, probably a lot. Yeah, may, have mentioned, may have mentioned a few things we did right, and hopefully you enjoyed it, and, and you'll start, you know, pick your favorite team and start watching your favorite team, and, and at some point we'll have you be able to and buy your own. Bangkok, come on out. And absolutely, if you're in Bangkok, come to the Central Ramen 9 Mall. We'll come to the rink, and, and come to the rink and, and, and uh, come watch, come watch uh, hockey. Come watch SHL hockey if you can. Um, it's fun. It's exciting. We have good, talented players here, and we really appreciate everybody. What do you think? Okay. That's it. Good, good, good stuff. Go? Good stuff, guys. Go. Sign okay. off okay. Good night, Thank guys. Thank you very much for everyone back home. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Nope. Wrong. Uh, nope. I'm sorry. Wrong. Uh, wrong graphic. There you go. Good okay. night. Good night. For Bangkok. Okay. Thank you.